problems in systems of equations. So we're going to look at a word problem here. We're going to define our variables. We're going to write two equations, since this, we're looking at a systems of equations, and then we're going to solve for whatever our word problem is asking for. So a hardware store earned $956.50 from renting ladders and power tools last week. Maybe there was a hurricane. I don't know why, but they're renting a lot of ladders and power tools. The store charged customers for a total of 36 days for ladders and 85 days for power tools. That's a lot of rentals. This week, the store charged 36 days for ladders, 70 days for power tools, and they earned $829. How much does the store charge per day for ladders and for power tools? So again, define a variable, write a systems of equations, and then solve. So again, we could graph to use this, but these numbers are so ginormous, and we're talking money, so it may not be a nice integer, so I really don't want to talk about graphing when we get to this. So let's see if we can use either substitution or elimination, um, one method or another, to solve for this one. So first I want to define my variables. We're trying to figure out um, what am I going to charge per day for the ladder, and also what am I going to charge per day for the power tool. So when I go to write these equations, I'm going to look at what I have here. And I notice that I have kind of a total or an altogether amount. I actually have two totals are all together amounts, which says to me I'm going to be writing two separate equations here that are very uh, parallel to each other in how they're set up. So I'm going to think about last week. Last week we earned $956.50, and that goal, that total amount, was put together by charging for the ladder for 36 days and charging for power tools for 85 days. So there's the equation for last week. This week's is going to look very similar. We have a total of $829.00. We charge 36 days for ladders and 70 days for power tools. So I have my two equations, and now I'm going to figure out which method works best. Again, graphing is probably not the greatest here because I could end up with decimals, and that's not so great on a graph. Um, as I look at this solving for one of the variables, neither one of these is really friendly for solving for one of the variables. Could I do it? Absolutely. I have complete faith in you, but I don't really want to. Um, let's take a look at our variables. Ah, and then I noticed that both of my L's have coefficients that are the same. So I'm going to set this up as subtraction. Again, I want to notice that my constants are aligned, my equal signs are aligned, my L terms are aligned, my, my operation is aligned, and my P terms are aligned here is when I set that up. Now because these have the same coefficient, I want to subtract. Again, I'm going to change subtracting to adding the opposite. So I'm going to change this to adding. I'm going to make this a negative 829, I'm going to make this a negative 36, and I'm going to make this a negative 70p. Now I'm going to add. So these two together give me 127.50. My 36Ls my 36 L's cancel out, and I end up with 0L. And my 85p and my negative 70p gives me 15p. So from here, I just have one variable. I solve for that, and I get 8.5. So this is telling me that to rent a power tool is $8.50 per day. So now I'm going to use that amount and go back and substitute into either one of these equations. I use the 829. Substitute that in for the cost uh, per a run, day rental of a power tool, and I come up with 650 for the ladders. So that tells me that they rent a ladder for $6.50 per day, and they rent a power tool for $8.50 per day. So again, using a systems of equations where I have two parallel situations here to solve for my unknown.